How's it going everyone? Mitch here with another Logic Pro 9 tutorial. This tutorial I'm going to be talking about busing. Um, busing is very important and I've gotten a couple questions over it as of recently and so I decided to make a video. That I did. That I did. So let's get right into it. Um, I'm going to be talking about a couple different kinds of techniques that we can use with the help of our good friend the bus. Okay, uh, the first one is going to be an effects loop made possible by sending a certain track to an auxiliary track via a bus. And how to do that is simple. Um, if you select any of your tracks, um, let's say this uh, guitar track, I can send down here um, right below all of the plugins, I can send it to a um, certain bus, in this case bus 10, and then this bus 10 will be sent to an auxiliary strip or an auxiliary channel strip. And what Logic does, which is very nice, is it puts the auxiliary channel strip right next to it. Instead of being the output, the main output, it um, changes it to this auxiliary strip that you had, um, that you sent this track to. Great, great, great. Now what you're going to want to put on this track is, I have um, channel EQ, um, you probably do not want to do that. Um, I was just messing around and decided to put some channel EQ on top of my um, reverb, which is what you want on this channel. Reverb and delay is what you want inside of here. Now what you can do is inside of your plugin take down all of the dry signal, the main signal, and put up as much reverb as you want. And then leave it alone. Leave it alone. What you can do is um, alter the amount that um, a volume that is sent to your auxiliary track via this um, this slider, not not slider, this dial, I guess. Um, so you can see how much is being sent to that auxiliary track, and you can edit the amount of reverb um, being sent to your output via this little little dial. All right, if that makes sense. Hopefully it does. So um, it's really easy to um, be messing with delay and reverb through um, the help of that auxiliary track. Um, please use that. Um, a lot of main produce or a lot of major producers, actually most major major producers, actually let me take that back. Every major producer inside of Logic uses those kinds of auxiliary track buses effects. Beautiful. Please use them. Okay. And the next thing I'm going to be talking about is sending a whole track to a bus. Um, and as you can see, if you look at a at a normal ass track. Uh, we can see that our that it's being sent or out. It's being sent to our stereo output. Instead of being sent to our stereo output, we can send a track to a bus, and this bus will be s sending the audio of that track to another auxiliary track. And now, what you can do and why you would want to do this is you can imagine sending a group of tracks to a single auxiliary track. On, and on that single auxiliary track, you can EQ all of those tracks together. You can put reverb or any effects on those tracks you want together. This is nice because if you have a ton of tracks in a song, you can limit it down to just a few auxiliary tracks in which you edit the equal. You add you. You EQ them all differently and separately to um, exploit their different. Um, stereo spaces and to make them fit like a glove which is the whole purpose of mixing um, the whole purpose of producing a song you want them to you want all of the pieces of a song to fit together nice and tight and so that you can hear every single portion or every single instrument inside of the song even though sometimes you might have a million and a half different channel strips so the whole point of this is to um, s cut down the amount of channel strips that you have into smaller portions that are easier to work with. And this is absolutely um, essential, or not essential, essential to um, mixing very large uh, songs, especially rock, alternative, um, you know, your kind of rock band songs. Make sure you do that. Um, in, I haven't really produced an extreme amount of electronic music but I'm sure you can use that inside of there also um, so take that for what it is worth I actually go over that quite a bit probably even more in depth than I just did inside of my mixing techniques video number two 
Above my head, I will post both of the links to the first one and the second one. Watch them. They're good, and they help out a lot um, in explaining this topic also. So uh, thanks for watching, everyone. This is Mitch. Um, again, um, actually, um, I want to go over quickly that I kind of run off of people giving me questions. So if it's a good enough question, I will definitely make a video over it, just like this video right here. It was a question, and I answered it in a video. Um, even if it's uh, a question that I just message you back and answer it, just because it's easy enough to do that, I will get you, get back to you, and I hopefully will answer that question for you. Um, so yeah, this is kind of how I run, and. Uh, you know, you know, do do the do the do the comment rate subscribe. You know the deal. You know the deal. So uh I'm gonna stop talking because I have to go to class. So peace out.